Are you struggling with sticking to your minority language? If you're raising bilingual children or have a multilingual family, then it is likely that you have the desire of passing on a minority language. Here are five practical tips that will make your multilingual lives easier. Hi there, Andrea here, teacher specialized in multilingualism. Subscribe to this channel and join my mailing list, all in the description below, to learn lots about raising successful multilingual children. Strategy revision. This is a huge tip that you probably haven't come across anywhere else. I truly believe, after having worked with hundreds of multilingual families and students, that if you are struggling to stick to your minority language when addressing your children, it is very likely that it is because you have chosen the wrong language learning methods. You heard me right. My first and most powerful tip to you, if this is your case, is that you have to stop, go back to steps and reflect your strategy, your multilingual approach for your family. Now, this is a huge topic and I can't cover it all in this video. But if you want to know more about it, I encourage you to watch these other videos and join my mailing list, check out the description below, because I am and I will be putting out many more training videos for you. Tip number two, get better. Let's say that you revise your strategy and you are convinced that the language learning methods that you chose are right for your multilingual family. And you still struggle with remembering to speak the minority language to your children. My power tip is to invest in improving your minority language level. It's quite normal in cosmopolitan multicultural families that certain languages become weaker over time because they don't get used as frequently anymore. And so our brains forget a lot. The connections between our synapses in our brains become stronger and stronger the more we use a language and therefore also weaker and weaker as we cease using them. It's not very different from training muscles, really. Use it or lose it. The key point here is that it's necessary to refresh and even improve your own minority language skills to stop the struggle. It is necessary to lift your language up to the level you have in the majority language or in the language that you tend to fall back to. Once that one becomes less dominant, it will be much easier to stick to the minority language. I promise it gets better. Tip number three, language reminders. If you have followed tip one and two, then you are ready to follow these language hacks. First, place reminder post-its in strategic places in the house where you will inevitably see them. This could be the doors or the bathroom mirror or the fridge or the table beside your bed. This should help you stay focused or ask your children to be helpers. Once you know when and in what situation you are going to use your minority language, make sure that your children are also very clear about where this rule applies. A rule could be, I speak the minority language to my kids every time the grandmother is present. Our children's job would be to play the policeman and remind you if we don't stick to the rule or make us pay a fine for it or change the language for your electronic devices to the minority language. This is a great idea to refresh the knowledge and use the minority language on a daily basis. Use a radio station on your minority language. On the internet, you can easily stream radio stations from around the world. Use it as an alarm clock in the morning or let it play in the background while you cook or you do the laundry or, you, you, or you're driving a car or make a toy or a pet monolingual in your minority language. Tell your children that the toy or the pet can only understand the minority language. I would love to know what you think about these tips. Let me know in the comment section. Please watch these other videos and share the content with any other cosmopolitan family that you know. Keep on doing a fantastic job and see you soon.